Um, I wanted to try to get to each of you to speak, each of you as in local governments and local authorities to speak to you about our 2040 transportation plan. Um, in front of you, you have a, a little flyer that we've prepared uh, that we're handing out to our community. And if any members in the audience, there's some sitting there on the, the chair beside you. Um, the 2040 transportation plan is a billion dollar investment that our local governments and the State Department of Transportation are looking to make in transportation infrastructure in Boston and Miles County over the next 25 years. We started this process uh, two years ago, uh, and you, this office has been involved in that process from day one. We started with the common community vision for Velocity and Lowndes County. That is a process where we ask our community, what can we do to be better? Um, through economic development, um, education, workforce development, health care, um, utility infrastructure, transportation infrastructure, and other items. We received quite a bit of input at that time and developed a vision statement and 18 community goals. Those goals have been translated into the transportation plan's 18 goals. They're the same concept, but what we did is we asked ourselves, what can transportation do to improve education? What can transportation do to improve economic development or workforce development? or utility infrastructure, or various things like that. So in our transportation plan, we have a goal for each of those, and a transportation strategy or a project aligned to each of those goal areas, and at least one. Sometimes we have multiple categories for each of those. We also started uh, two years ago with the socioeconomic data study, um, which I know that uh, your staff has looked uh, well into, and we've presented it several times, of information about our community and what it's going to look like in the year 2040. We'll have a population of 149,000 people, um, a workforce of 76,000, school enrollment of 59,000 from kindergarten through advanced doctoral degrees at VSU. So quite a change from where we are now with 112,000 population, about 59,000 um, jobs, and about 36,000 uh, students in our community. So over the past year, we've really focused on our transportation uh, plan and developing that, taking our step forward from our common community vision. We asked our community, what are our challenges? Uh, so those are identified there on your, on your page. East-West connectivity in our community, public transit, um, bicycle and pedestrian um, infrastructure, and general safety are all concerns among, among others in our community. So we've addressed those challenges, and through the questions that we asked ourselves about transportation of our 18 uh, goals, we've developed four uh, policies and strategies, as well as the project list that you see there on the, on the page at the bottom. Our first policy is our complete streets policy. That is a requirement of our local governments and the State Department of Transportation for any project with federal funds that is in our transportation project list, it must be designed for all roadway users in mind based on the context of that project. So all roadway users include cars, buses, trucks, freight users, bicycles, pedestrians, utility infrastructure, and so on. Our second policy is an intersection improvement policy that uh, requires all intersections in our transportation plan to have a, a roundabout design alternative completed for them. Not to say that roundabout is going to be the ultimate decision for that intersection improvement, but roundabouts tend to be 30 to 90 percent safer than traditional four-legged intersections depending on their uh, context of, this, of the location they're at. So that's something we want to consider for improving safety in our community. A third policy is an active healthy lifestyles policy, encouraging local governments to spend at least $500,000 annually on bicycle and pedestrian infrastructure or education and partnership programs uh, with local schools, healthcare entities uh, to promote bicycle and pedestrian safety or active and healthy lifestyles. Our last item is uh, several transportation strategies that we want to look at that it includes public transit implementation, uh, truck traffic studies for downtown Valdosta, parking studies for our community, 
as well as continuing to coordinate land use and transportation challenges. Ultimately, what we see there, though, is a $1 billion um, advertisement number there. That's a lot of money. But uh, it, it gets spent pretty quickly. Over $500 million, we have estimated, needs to go to maintenance and operations of our existing roadway infrastructure. $400 million needs to go to that project list that you see. 50% of which is funded by the federal government, 13% by the state, 37% by local governments, and most of that 37% from the local governments is SPLOS funds. The remaining uh, money is for transit systems, $20 million to our existing rural transit systems in Lowndes, Berrien, and Brooks counties, and over $70 million to a proposed urban transit system in the Veloster urban area. So those are the, the projects that you have in front of you. Um, we are currently having a public comment period from July 7th to August 7th, where we're seeking public comments on this transportation plan. Tomorrow we are hosting an open house at our office at the Regional Commission office from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., where people can drop in, come and go as they please to get their questions answered. And we'll repeat that again on uh, July 30th, at from 4 to 6.30 at the Southside Library. So where people can come in and get their questions answered. So, uh, other than that, I'm going to open it up for questions if you have any. Uh, but that is the 2040 transportation plan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we're uh, going to 